So this is a 2015 Ford F-150. Uh, comes with uh, tire air pressure sensors, direct sensors mounted in the wheels. And this particular truck has a sensor fault. I'll show you the valve stems right there. The sensor's mounted to the valve stem and this has a sensor fault on the right front. We'll go through the process of checking that out, uh, replacing the sensor and reprogramming the sensors. The first sign of a problem with your tire pressure sensors is usually a warning light on the dash. You can see it right here. It's that little tire with a exclamation point in the middle. And that will come up if you have a low tire or if you have a problem with your air pressure sensors. And in this case, it's saying there's a tire pressure sensor fault. If we clear that and we scroll to the menu where we can find our tire pressures on this particular vehicle, um, you can see that it's registering 34 PSI on three of the tires, uh, but the right front has no reading. This is the Hamaton H46 uh, TPMS tool, and we're gonna use it to check the sensors on this vehicle. So we'll do that selection, and this is a Ford F-150. So we'll choose Ford, and then go to the F-Series. And I happen to know that this is a 315 megahertz sensor. And it's a 2015 vehicle. So we'll select that and we'll start with the left front. And you can see where it says start there. We're gonna push this button here and we're gonna put it beside the left front sensor. And you can see I picked up the information on the sensor, 33.7 PSI, 102 degrees, uh, 315 megahertz sensor, and it says the battery's okay in this one. Okay, we'll see what it says for the left rear. And it picks up that sensor, battery okay. Let's try the right rear. And now the right front where we suspect there's a problem. searching for the sensor. And in this case, it timed out, says there's no sensors detected. Uh, I have done these when the battery is low and it will find the sensor and it'll tell you the battery is low. Uh, in this case, it's not telling us that. In this case, it can't see the sensor at all. So uh, when we dismount the tire, we'll see what we find. This is the sensor I'll be replacing. I picked this up from Ford. You can see that it has, along with the stem, it has a part that extends into the wheel. Uh, this extends into an area on the wheel called the drop center. I'll show you that when I get the wheel off. Uh, but you have to be particularly careful when uh, dismounting the tire. So we'll position the valve stem just ahead of this part here. And so when I start to dismount the tire, you can see that it'll, it'll pull the tire up and it won't interfere with the bottom of that valve stem. So you can see how the sensor extends into the wheel. Now 
Now this particular sensor, you can unscrew the sensor part that extends into the wheel and uh, replace that without replacing the valve stem. And since I've replaced this sensor not too long ago, I think it's effective. Uh, I'll just be replacing that end instead of the whole stem. So this is the part we'll be replacing here. Uh, by the way, I've tried to take these apart and uh, see if there's a replaceable battery. Uh, they're glued together and it breaks them up when you take them apart. So uh, no joy there. It's amazing that every kid's toy in the world has a replaceable battery, but they can't seem to figure out how to put replaceable batteries in these sensors. So the sensor is replaced now. And if we take our tool uh, before it's programmed, um, we can check and see if the sensor is live. And now it picks it up, uh, says it's 33 PSI, 315 megahertz, battery's okay. Uh, so that's a good sensor now. So the new pressure sensor is in, tires mounted up. We did uh, check the air pressures on all the tires, 34 all the way around. And uh, we'll use our tool next. Uh, let's take a look at the instructions on how to set this up for the sensors to learn. So I happen to have access to uh, Shopkey Pro and they have a specific process here uh, that you go through to set the sensors up to be in the learn mode. So we're going to go to the vehicle and do that process. Here we are in the vehicle. Uh, first it tells you to apply the brake once and then it tells you to turn the ignition uh, on and off three times ending in the uh, run position. So we're going to do that. So one, two, three, and then it says push the brake again. Turn the ignition off. And then same process. One, two, three. You hear that beep, the horn beeped. And now the uh, screen tells you to train the left front tire. Okay, so we're going to go into the uh, relay mode, which is on this uh, metal icon on the menu here. And again, we'll have to choose the vehicle. And 2015, 315 megahertz. Uh, manual relearn. Gives us some instructions. And then starting with the left front tire. And we're gonna push this button here, which is the start button. Okay, that one's picked up. We're going to go to the right front. This is the one that was uh, defected before. Pick that one up. Now we're going to go to the right rear. done and we'll go to the left rear you should hear a couple of beeps from the truck saying they're all programmed Let's see what our message says training complete and the tire pressure light is off. So now you can see all the air pressures are showing up. And if I uh, turn the key off and back on, my tire pressure light goes through the light check mode, uh, but there's no 
error code showing up. 